Morning folks, uh, right, another meadow. Uh, my friend Sharon's missing the puppies, so I'm going to do it up. Uh, there's a bit of a crease in the paper here. It's, uh, it's a, a canvas paper. It's half a sheet, a 16 by, tw uh, by 20 sheet. I've got quite a few left of this. this uh, Pad here, data around the 20 by 16, 508 millimeters by 506 millimeters. It's very good stuff to work on. Uh, so we've got uh, the usual palette. Uh, you know what they are. Uh, no, no additions apart from this uh, blue, the ultramarine, which is an artist quality. I'm just using it up. Bit of bit of oil in here. So. Uh, 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 put a bit of a path in. Bit of a, oh, I would call this uh, Dave's uh, Dave's Meadow. Dave's Meadow. Right, okay, so dip, dip the brush into uh, the Just get a bit of blue in here. Well, maybe we'll have a bright meadow rather than a... a miserable day uh, Okay, let's, uh, let's just clean the brush. Find a bit of cloth. Oh, uh, find a bit of cloth. Easier said than done. There's a bit. It's going to be on my table. Hope you enjoyed your weekends. Uh, we've got some friends coming for lunch today, so I, I'm uh, doing a. I, I'm doing a cooking today. Well, the main course anyway. It's a uh, prawn linguine. Very garlicky. But if we all like, like garlic, I'm going to put a bit more uh, uh, liquid. I'll use the liquid because it does help the uh, paint to dry very quick. Well, quicker than normal. You can add uh, linseed oil to it to make it go further because it's not cheap. The liquid. I've also got a, some of this left, which is a. Should use this as well. Uh, fast drying medium. All Windsor and Newton stuff. Uh, right now, uh, get the, uh, the paint out of the out of the bristles. Now you can see that the stuff I'm using is uh, all worn out. Uh, they're, they're, they're lovely, lovely brushes, especially when they when they wear. Look, look. Lovely, lovely. All right, okay. I've got a mount that will just about fit this, although I, uh, I the margins will show a bit, but so it's a double mount, double uh, mount. Uh, it came from a, a painting that was in my uh, my brother-in-law's offices here in worked, and where they re rehashed it, them. Uh, I was the beneficiary, got rid of the prints that were in the uh, in the in the frames. I, I didn't get the frames; I got the mounts for these ones. Okay, so we can put a little bit of shadow in here. Burnt sienna for the clouds, but the, the one I've got is, is very, uh, very strong. Pretty about that crease, but uh, I don't suppose anything will happen to this painting. Like all the others, I'll, they'll end up being painted over. Mm. 
Okay. Right, that's a that's a that's a quid sky, I reckon. We don't do detail. I think when when you're painting um, with oils or anything, don't stay in one area. Just work over the whole thing. Then it develops uh, as a, a single uh, a, a single expression. If you sort of do it, all work a bit here to to death. Just leave it alone. It just you know, just go over it. Right now, now the fun begins. Uh, we want uh, a bit of paints grey, a bit of a bit of yellow, meadow, a bit of red in there, or a bit of don't have both sides the same. I haven't had time to, but it's so wobbly. Yeah. It's an old metal easel. Gosh, I love doing these. Bit of ochre in there. Nice feathery tops to these trees. Okay, well, there's a puppy going there. Let's get a bit of a ochre in there. Touch a bit of red. We develop one, but we don't want both sides to be symmetrical. But to avoid that, okay, so it's not quite in the middle. Okay, that's uh, all right. Let's put in some. Uh, all right, let's get a bit of a path in there. Uh, big, big, big grey. A bit of sienna. Okay, that would be a, sort of a path through there. Let's put a bit of texture in, let that grow, uh, dry a bit. Let's uh, just get some grasses now. Uh, uh, get the dark in the uh, 
in the depth of these uh, shrubby trees. Right, okay, let's uh, put in some uh, flowers, some uh, Bit of cow parsley here and there. And uh, I want a bit of dark, more dark there. So I'll use just a bit of red and paint spray. Well, that's a bit dark, but anyway. You can change it any time you like. Bit of shadow. Let's put in some uh, flowers. I want a bit of bit, bit of lighter green in that foreground to complement the the red that I'm going to put over it. I'm enjoying this from Monday morning. Look, rush, rough old brush. No, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that shape. It's quite, quite reasonable. Might just modify some of this. Uh, look at the paint I put out just for a very quick painting. All right, uh, I won't put a figure in. Uh, right now, get me a poppy brush, uh, poppy brush, and my figure brush. So we'll go in with a bit of a uh, bit of bit of this. Okay, I'll have some white, clean the brush. A bit of white. I remember Frank Clark saying that uh, all these bits of pa these passages just uh, use a bit of white. Okay, uh, we'll do a bit of uh, leafage, not leafage, uh, Those. 
Right, so I don't think there's much more to do with that. Uh, Right, over the hill. That's me. Uh, we got a bit, bit of blue in there. Little cornflowers. Okay, that's that's it. I'm afraid. Let's just move that to one side. Um, oh, we just uh, just lift it up. Right now, I'm going to put that mount on that I mentioned. And I, it's quite big. But look at that. Well, it just about sort of fits, doesn't it? Well, no, it doesn't, but uh, there it is. Uh, just a quick bit. Oh, we've got a bit, a bit there. I think we could. We've got a straight line there, and I don't like that. So let's just go back and get a bit of white, a bit of. Come over there. Bit better. Okay, but that's I'm going to leave that. Dave's uh, Dave's meadow. Dave's meadow. Oops. Okay, I'll, I'll what I'll do. I'll uh, go, uh, put this on YouTube, and uh, the photograph will go on Facebook, so you can look at that. Tomorrow, I'm determined to do a painting for my pictures. I've neglected everybody lately. I've been a bit busy. Some things have to be done. Ah, there we are. Okay, I hope you like that one, folks. Uh, I don't know how long that took, probably less than 20 minutes. Uh, thoroughly enjoyable. See you soon. Bye bye.